Najaf is actually home to the world's largest cemetery where the remains of an estimated 5 million people currently lie. With renewed violence in Iraq, the site is surpassing its capacity. Grave diggers say up to 200 people per day are being brought in for burial. CCTV's Jack Barton reports from Najaf. Sunrise at a 1,400-year-old cemetery at Najaf, a city that Shiite Muslims consider one of the holiest places to bury their dead. The families arrive at dawn to mourn relatives killed in Iraq's latest insurgency, driven by the Sunni militant group known as the Islamic State. Throughout the day, coffins continue to arrive. Allah Hussein unties the casket containing his brother Assad, killed while fighting in Anbar province. He was defending our country. He's the second martyr in the family. The first martyr was in Saddam's time. Every day, soldiers, militiamen and civilians killed by the fighting are buried here. The United Nations estimates that last month, more than 2,400 people were killed in the renewed insurgency. About two-thirds of those were civilians. Grave diggers like Abu Sajjad warned that casualty rate is expected to be just as high this month. Sajjad says that despite this being the world's largest cemetery, it's struggling to cope. The cemetery is very full because of the assault by Islamic State. There is no space left to put the dead. Those who are accepted cannot rest in peace. Gun positions defend the cemetery. The Islamic State militants have made a habit of destroying Shiite and Christian sites. Locals fear the same for this enormous graveyard, where the human cost of Iraq's renewed insurgency Echoes between the graves every day. Jack Barton, CCTV, Najaf.